And I was like screaming, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I mean, everybody saw me, but no one could get to me. Emma Fry recounts her near-death experience as she fought for her life during torrential flooding brought on by Tropical Storm Ida nearly two weeks ago. The 21-year-old was traveling on Route 202 when she got stuck in the water, driving from a Raritan Township car dealership where she works to her home in Flemington. The roadway, she said, became a river in a matter of minutes. The water just got really high up in my car. It got up to about my knees. And I decided it was time to like get on the roof. As flooding got more intense, a floating car careened into hers, sending her into the water. She was able to cling on to this traffic sign, but the rushing water became too intense. I thought to myself, like, all right, you, you got to let go now. You know, just do what you have to do. And I let go. The water swept Fry into darkness. What could have been her last moments proved to be her strongest as the 21 year old refused to concede to Ida. I was getting pushed into trees and just like everything was hitting me. I'm on my own and I need to like really kick it into gear if I want to, you know, try to save myself. Thankfully, swimming lessons she took as a child kicked in. The backstroke became her saving grace. Finding a log at one point to rest and then a pile of debris, she paced herself. It would be more than six hours later and roughly two miles away from where she was taken by the water. A nearby resident would hear her cries and call 911. Not a dry eye in the room for the reunion with her parents. The officer's voice was very excited. I, I kind of had a good feeling before he told us they found her, and he said they found her alive. She's tiny, um, but she's tiny but mighty, and, you know, she really does have a lot of uh, mental fortitude behind her. Aside from some cuts and bruises and a number of water bugs in her hair, Fry was in good shape. Her desire to live left unscathed. The whole time I thought, like, I'm not dying, like, we're not doing this, like, in my head, I just had so much motivation to get through it. Now, as her road to recovery continues, Fry hopes that in telling her story, she inspires others to never give up, despite the obstacles that may be thrown their way in life. In Flemington, I'm Andrew Ramos, Fix 11 News.